Mr. Revolver Guy, back with another episode of Speeds, Feeds, and Ballistics. On the bench with us today is the grandfather that started the 10 millimeter craze. This is original Norma 10 millimeter. That's right, folks. Norma 10 millimeter. We're going to fire those three rounds across the chronograph and put one into the ballistics gel for the 10 millimeter reloading gallery over at dayattherange.com. This video would not be possible without my friend Overkill338 over at the 10 millimeter firearms.com forum. Also today on the bench with us, we have some other rather unique 10 millimeter. This is the Jesse James 10 millimeter. The Jesse James 10 millimeter is 180 grain round hollow point. As you can see there, it's a deep cavity hollow point. I'm not sure who makes the bullet for these rounds. And if anybody knows, please feel free to chime in. And we're going to shoot these across the chronograph and one into the ballistics gel to compare it to the grandfather that started it all. And then we move over to the 165 grain gold dot hollow point. We're all familiar with those, but these are Underwood. Again, we're going to get the speeds, feeds, and ballistics utilizing the Colt Delta Elite 5 inch barrel, which the 10 millimeter was developed for, and see what the results will come out to be. Again, thank you to Overkill338 over at the 10 millimeter firearms.com forum for sponsoring this video. Let's get on to the testing. The Colt Delta Elite 5 inch barrel with the granddad of them all. 10 millimeter factory normal rounds 165 grain two across the chronograph and the third across the chronograph into clear ballistics gelatin 1152 1179 all right, Overkill, you saw what the Norma 165 grain two shots did across the chronograph. What more can you expect from 30 year old ammunition? Now, let's see what it does across the chronograph into ballistics gelatin. One thousand two hundred fifty seven. There you have it. One thousand two hundred fifty seven. That last shot seemed to pick up um, about a hundred feet per second. And uh, let's break out the tail of the tape. All right, folks, here we go with the Norma. 165 grain. This ammunition is 30 years old, but let's follow it. Wound track, it starts to open up at about two inches. Pretty critical there. It does proceed through the first 16 inches 
and into the second block. And there she comes to rest in the second block at about, I am going to call it 19 and a half inches. Yeah, she's about right there. The Norma 165 grain 10 millimeter ammunition from the five inch barrel Colt Delta Elite. The cartridge that started the 10 millimeter craze. 19 and a half inches of penetration. Hang in there with me. I'm going to dig this round out and we're going to weigh it as well as see how it expanded through the clear ballistics gelatin. Now let's put three rounds of the Jesse James 180 grain 10 millimeter across the chronograph and the fourth round into ballistics gelatin. 1,205. 1,244. 1,202. The last and final shot of the Jesse James into clear ballistics gelatin. 1,203. last and final shot came in at 1,203. Let's see where that round ended up. That Jesse James round entered the clear ballistics gelatin. It did not create a wide as wound track as the Norma, but it penetrated. Folks, it did not make it through. Overkill, it did not make it through one of the clear ballistics gelatin blocks. As a matter of fact, I'm going to say that the tail of the tape tells us it penetrated at about 14 inches. Total of about 14 inches. There it is. Hang in there, folks. Wow. I think it actually fragmented a tad bit, but I'm not sure. I know it peeled back on itself, but the Jesse James 180 grain comes in at 14 inches. Now we're going to move on to the Underwood 165 grain spear gold dot across the chronograph five shots four across the chronograph and the last and fifth final shot into the ballistics gelatin to compare against the jesse james and the original granddad of the 10 millimeter norma 165 grain 10 millimeter 1,366. 1,370. 1,375. 1,371. Now through the ballistics gelatin. 1,373. That Underwood, whoo, talking about dumping some energy. Knocked the phone down that I collect my chronograph stats with. There you have it right there. Last shot coming in at 1373. Let's see what the tail of the tape tells us. The wound channel of the Underwood 165 grain is pretty impressive. Let's move the tape up here. Right there, you can see 
it really starts to open up at about one inch comes to its full potential at two inches and that wound channel is pretty wide up to about eight eight and a half inches it continues to travel until it gets to 14 inches in the block and it peels back pretty good on itself so there you have it folks overkill 338 thank you very much for sponsoring this feeds speeds and ballistics for dayattherange.com between the granddad norma 10 millimeter 165 grain jesse james 180 grain 10 millimeter and the underwood 165 grain 10 millimeter i would say the winner today for wound track and penetration i'm actually going to give it to the underwood because that wound track is pretty impressive though norma 10 millimeter is the cartridge all of us fanatics compare to this video shows how technology is advancing bullet making and why 10 millimeter is the king of all millimeters. Mr. Revolver Guy, dayattherange.com.